Welcome back. Now, according to polling, the economy remains a top issue among voters. Prices, as you know, they've shot up nearly 20 percent since both Biden and Harris took office. Small businesses are working to navigate the economic uncertainty that comes with a high stakes election like this. Let's hear from owners themselves. Joining me now, Sean Nagpal, president and founder of the Nagpal Restaurant Group and partner at Westcon Development, and Jason Ferreira, grocery store owner. Appreciate you both being here. Jason, let me start with you, small business owner. Whose policies are working for you right now? What do you want to hear in terms of the future election? Well, I think we, we stand in a very unique position right now where we have a former president running for office and we have someone that's been in the administration for the last Three, almost clo uh, close to four years. And in my, my uh, point of view is that the previous administration, uh, things felt a lot more stable. Uh, it seemed that uh, my customers were not complaining as much about pricing mm -hmm. and, about, and about other things that they have to pay for. Because, you know, the supermarket is a, is a big place for conversation yeah. uh, in the neighborhood. And, um, you know, listening to both candidates, you know, I know that Mr. Trump is a uh, businessman. He understands, uh, even though he's not a small business owner, but he understands the dynamic of a business. Mm -hmm. And when I hear um, Kamala Harris uh, make her um, presentation, I don't really get anything that resounds with me. Hmm. You know, I don't hear anything that I would call concrete or, or specific. Sean, who do you trust on the economy? Well, I think it comes down to um, what the intentions of each um, candidate's policies are, the true intentions. And I think that what's important for me as a business owner is, you know, I have businesses in various industries, uh, businesses that deal with Wall Street every day and businesses that deal with Main Street every day. So I see everything on a large spectrum. Yeah. And uh, you want a candidate uh, that has policies that are built in the foundation of the American dream, um, entrepreneurship, innovation, and someone that understands business and understands what it takes to support those people that can put other people in positions to succeed. So I think uh, clearly that comes from, um, you know, former President Trump. Mm -hmm. And uh, you want to continue to hear policies that will support uh, what it is that you think is important as an American. Jason, Kamala Harris says that one way she wants to tackle inflation is to take on grocery store owners. She says that they are price gouging. Are you price gouging? Absolutely not. And uh, what people have to remember is that you know, the grocery industry in particular is a very competitive place. I mean, people have so many options. Uh, they can shop at the local supermarket. They can shop at the big store. They can go to a club. They can buy online. They can Google pricing. At, it's at their fingertips, yeah. all the information. So it's in my best interest as a, as a supermarket operator that I, if I can't be the cheapest, I want to be around that price. Otherwise, I'm not going to get any business in my store. So I think for any politician to, uh, to say that they can, they can affect the pricing, I think, is a very naive statement because it's such a dynamic and, and, and complicated process from, from, from farming and manufacturing all the way down to when it gets to your grocery shelf. And everyone in that process is trying to buy at the best price because right. they want their business to be profitable. You're probably and lucky to be turning a profit. Your margins are probably 1% to 2%. Correct. That, our, yeah. our, our margins are razor thin. Yeah. Um, and then uh, I was just speaking to Sean earlier that, you know, our expenses are increasing at yep. a faster rate than what we can keep our margins at. Sean, I want to talk to you about another part of your business outside restaurants, real estate. Some of yep. your business models, you go into underdeveloped areas and you're able to turn those properties around. Right. Um, we've talked a lot about affordability issues. Um, some proposals from Trump have talked about opening up federal land for new development. Um, both candidates have talked about lowering regulation, cutting the red tape. How much does that move the needle for you? Well, I think the key is um, if you're going to open up federal land for additional development, um, it's all about jobs and bringing jobs into those markets. Typically, where I'm investing and bringing, um, uh, you know, my finances to are underdeveloped tertiary markets mm -hmm. in which jobs are a need. Uh, people need a place to go. People need a place to see economic development in their local neighborhoods and in their areas. So that does move the needle for me as an investor. If I see that a candidate is specifically focused on bringing in um, development to areas that need it, I'm going to follow as an investor and bring those investors with me as well. I just quickly want to play a soundbite on um, Kamala Harris talking about how she is a capitalist. Take a listen and respond. I'm a capitalist. I believe in free and fair markets. I believe in consistent and transparent rules of the road to create a stable business environment. 
And I know the power of American innovation. I've been working with entrepreneurs and business owners my whole career, and I believe companies need to play by the rules. In just about 20 seconds each left, do the policy proposals match up with those statements? I don't see how. It, to me, it just sounds like jargon. No, when you talk about taxing unrealized capital gains, I think it's the antithesis of capitalism. That is a whole other conversation that I <laughs> wish we had time for because I don't understand the way that math works. But Sean and Jason, we're going to have to leave it there. Absolutely. Really appreciate both of you coming you. here and telling us sort of how it is to operate as a small business owner in this environment. Thank you both. Appreciate Thank your you. time. Thank you.